so I listened to it and it didn't sound very good. Um, but using a different mic, hopefully that will sound better. Um, anyway, yeah. So this is the first part in um, a little series that I've been wanting to do for a while, where I'm going to um, go through each version of Minecraft that's in the launcher, beginning with um, the one inf dev version that's in there. Um, and I'm going to try and get every block and every item in each version before I go to the next one. And so if it works, and if the worlds all upgrade properly, um, by the end of this, we'll have every single block and every single item that you can get in the game. And we'll have had a nice little uh, trip through the past versions, which should be fun. Okay, so let's get started. And I'm doing this um, in like a streaming format, just because I imagine parts of it might be kind of boring. Um, but I'm going to um, get the the videos of it and post those um, on YouTube as well. Okay, so let's make a new version, new world. I've spent the past uh, couple of weeks uh, putting a spreadsheet together with all the items and did the game just crash? I think the game just crashed. Hmm, that is unfortunate. Okay. Or did it? Yeah, the game crashed. Okay. Um, anyway, I guess I'll just talk for a little bit while I get it started again. Um, so I spent the past couple of weeks putting together um, a spreadsheet with all of the blocks and items and doing a little bit of research about what version they were introduced and what version you could actually like get them in. Like grass blocks have been there since the start, but you couldn't actually get them in survival until they added in silk touch um that sort of thing so there might be some mistakes i hope that there aren't but i mean there's there's i think a thousand and something lines in the spreadsheet so there's probably at least one mistake in there um but anyway for this first version that's in the launcher that has survival mode we have 97 different blocks and items to get so hoping this doesn't crash again if it keeps doing that, that will be prohibitive. Okay, seems like it's working good now. Not sure what that was about. So we're here in InfDev. We do not have sprinting. Um, we do not have sprinting. Um, we don't have sleeping either. Um, there's also no sound. So this, I did a little bit of research and apparently um, the sounds used to be like, instead of being embedded into the jar file, they were downloaded from like a website when you would start the game. Uh, and I guess they haven't like maintained the the address that um, that the old imp dev versions used. So we are not gonna have sound for this version, which is a little bit sad, but I'm not gonna bother updating the list kind of as we get every single item. I'm gonna just like, you know, do a little bit of standard Minecraft play first first day kind of stuff. And then once we kind of settle in for the night, um, I'll update the list then. Just because it would be distracting when we were getting all these new items all the time right now. Okay. So I've been playing Minecraft since, I think I first played it on, um, at like a friend's house when it was in like the late beta period but i i didn't actually get my own minecraft account until i believe it was release 1.2 um so a lot of these versions i actually have not played ever so i'm probably going to make some mistakes occasionally like thinking i can do something that i can't or like trying to craft something you don't need a stone pick for iron ore, do you? I, I actually don't know if you need a stone pick in current Minecraft for iron ore, so I'm not a Minecraft expert by any means. 
Yeah, I think that was okay. Interesting. But should be should be um a little fun. I haven't really done any streaming since I was in like middle or high school. I think, you know, a lot of people when they're that age think that they're more interesting than they are. Um so I did, you know, a little bit of streaming back then, but I haven't really done any like as an adult. Could you sneak in this version? I don't think that you could. Huh. Okay. I'll have to remember that. I will come back to this cave later and get some more of those resources, but for now I want to chop down some more trees and um, get myself uh, a house built. Should get some coal as well for torches. Yeah, it's kind of um, neat to see, you know, how far the game has come. And at the same time, I mean, so many things are like the same. Like this stone texture was the same all the way up to like 1.14 when they changed all the textures and the dirt one too. And yet, like, it it still feels like a completely different game. So maybe maybe it is a different game. I guess that's a a question uh, for a philosopher. Okay. Anyway, I was gonna make an axe, right? Axe has been made. Chopping down a tree. A very Minecraft thing to do. Yeah, I think in the future, um, I mean, the, the streaming setup right now is, is very uh, simplistic. Um, you know, so I might, I might set something nicer up in the future. Um, like I, the the list on the right is just like in the 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 big Google sheet. I have like a sheet in there, um, that's just like has like a cell where I'm just typing in that version that imp dev, and then under that I just have like formulas to fill in um the number of uh items remaining, and then what those items are. And I mean, it looks like a Google Sheet because it is a Google Sheet. Um, but in the future, I might try and set something nicer up. Okay, getting plenty of saplings. Probably gonna stop picking up saplings now. I think that's enough for now. Um, and it'll be interesting too to see it because I know like uh, you know, some of the versions, oh, I forget which version it was, that they did the, like, Anvil file format and made, like, the world taller. Um, but yeah, I think, I think I remember there being, like, you had to, like, because, I mean, it's a new file format, right? So you had to, like, convert the world to the new format. Um, so it'll be interesting to see when we get to updates like that, if we run into any problems. My, um, policy though is going to be if like if any update like breaks the world um i am just going to like have to start over and get all the items again in that new version that's my plan because i want at the end of this to have all of the items like at once um i guess i should talk maybe a little bit about like some sort of rules that i've set for it so um There are some cases where, like, an item is in the game, but you couldn't get it. So, like, I think I, I said, like, the grass block, for example, has been in the game for forever, but you couldn't get it until 1.0 um, by, like, using Silk Touch. Or, like, later on, they added the thing where, like, you can kill an Enderman and it'll drop the block that it was carrying. Um... So, if, if it's a thing like that, like I'm 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 not gonna I mean obviously I can't get it in the version where you can't get it, so 
I'm just going to get it in the first version where you can get it. And I think that's, um, fine. <laughs> uh, but then there are examples like the apple. So they added the apple. I think the apple is in this version actually, but like in modern Minecraft, you can get an apple from like a tree leaf, right? When a leaf breaks, sometimes it'll drop an apple. That is not the case in this version and wouldn't become the case for a while actually. But um, they, so they added apples like a long time ago. And then I was, I was reading a little bit of the history and apparently somebody made a like crafting guide that was like how to get all the stuff in the game in like 2010 or whatever. Um, maybe I should have looked at that actually. That would have been kind of interesting to, to see that. But anyway, I might look at it later. Um, and like you couldn't get the apple right and so as like a joke this guy was like to get an apple you have to like kill notch just like i i guess he was just trying to think of like the most like absurd thing that he could um and then not too long later notch released an update where if you killed a notch you got an apple so I don't know if it's, I think it's before this version. So at this point in time, I'm pretty sure you can get an apple only by killing Notch. And it wouldn't be until I think beta 1.8 when they added in strongholds um, without the portals yet. Uh, but the, you know, they, they were working on strongholds by that point. Uh, and they made it so that in some of the chests you could get apples. And so that was the first time in beta 1.8 that you could get an apple like in survival without killing notch um and so i'm just gonna treat that as like not obtainable <laughs> until beta 1.8 because um i mean i that was like a joke right so anything that is a joke i'm not going to count so like beta 1.4 when they had the like april fool's day chest i don't know if you could pick that up actually um so maybe it doesn't matter anyway but anything that is like in the game as a joke i'm just like not going to count and i am probably not going to be able to complete this house before the sun goes down Let me get started on a door and some torches before I run out of wood. Um, yeah, so jokes, like, don't count. And then, what else? Oh yeah, so if, if an update like breaks the world, I'm gonna like start over in that version and get all the items again. Um oh yeah, there's some cases so like uh with like enchanted books, you could conceivably count every like combination of enchantments as a separate item, but that just seems like annoying and not particularly fun um so i'm just gonna get like one enchanted book and call it a day um but i am gonna count different uh different potions as different items so like a potion of swiftness versus like a potion of like weakness too those are those are different uh potions so i am going to get every one of those and the reason i'm making that distinction there is that like the enchanting tables are random right like you don't know which book you're going to get they didn't have stairs yet did they interesting um you didn't know which book you were going to get but like with potions you, you do know which potion you're going to get so like the potions are also kind of a lot of things that are similar but it's not like unfun um 
And then when it comes to like like beds, for example, there's like different colors of beds. I am going to count those all as separate blocks. So I have to get every color of bed once they add the colored beds. I think that was 1.12. Oops, I fell. Um, oh yeah, this is when I, I honestly completely forgot until just now that, yeah, you used to not have a hunger bar. You used to like, when you ate food, you would just instantly regain health from that. Kind of interesting. Not the case anymore. I guess the new system is, is more like realistic, you know, but I don't know the old, the old system, um, was maybe a bit more fun because you didn't have to like carry food with you everywhere. Um, okay, so I should have kept enough wood to make a chest. Let me just tear some of my roof down here. Make a chest. Okay, so which items have we gotten so far? We can cross them off the list. So I have a big uh, spreadsheet, like I said, and I've got like a column for the item and then a column for like when you could get it. And then a column for like, excuse me, a column for then like the name of the item and then a column for the version where you could first get it and then a column for the date when i did get it um i was going to say when you could get it and when i did get it but that doesn't really the version where you could get it and then the date where i did get it um so i'm just gonna and then this thing that's on the screen on the right uh over there is um is like another sheet that's like uses formulas and reads from the first sheet so when I update things in the first sheet, when I put in the date, it'll like take it out of that list on the right. Okay, so let's go through our chest and see what we have now. We have cobblestone. So I can cross that off. Today is December 3rd, 2023. And then we have iron ore. We have oak sapling, which I guess back then it was just called a sapling, right? There was no oak. Sapling. And then we have um, coal. We have torches. We've got dirt, and we've got a wooden pickaxe. Yeah, so I'm gonna count basically when I, I'm gonna have this chest and eventually I have this, this vision of building like, you know, a building with like, like an item frame for each of them once they add item frames or just like, Maybe, maybe I'll, maybe for the blocks, I'll make like, just like a little pedestal to put the block on top of, um, or maybe I'll just have like a bunch of chests. I don't know, but eventually it'll be, it'll be a little bit more organized. Um, but at the end of like, like occasionally I'm going to go over to that area and just like put all the new things in at once and then add them to the list then. I think that'll be a good way to do it. So let's look at the list. I would say we could go in alphabetical order, but block of diamond is maybe not um, one of the first things I should try for. Well, okay. It'll be useful to get more wood to do pretty much any of these. So, And 
I do need to keep at least one of all these blocks. So like I'm taking, th this is kind of my storage chest and the like one of every item chest at the same time. Um, so when I when I make like a nicer building, I'll I'll put like exactly one of each item in that building. But for now, like w one of these is like is like the dirt for like the the project, and then the other sixteen are just like dirt uh, without any special attributes. Okay, I think it's it's probably safe enough to get some more wood. I believe in this version to get, um, I don't know when they changed this. I, I feel like I remember this being a thing, but I might just be imagining that. So I think they probably kept it until at least 1.2 because that was when I kind of started playing like a lot. Um, but I, I believe uh, before they added like, like the grass, like not the grass blocks, but the like billboarded like um what am i trying to say so like a sapling kind of has this like cross shape the like cross shape like 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 grass that comes out of the ground um like nowadays you can break that and you'll get like seeds occasionally but i believe before they added that to get seeds you just like tilled dirt and it would sometimes give you a seed um i think that's how it works So I have to remember this is the one of every item chest too, so I can't just like put random stuff into it until I'm ready to update the spreadsheet. Okay, well let's get some more iron. I realize I should have done that at night time and not during the day. Actually, yeah, I I wanna make use of this daytime now and chop down a bunch of trees. Okay. Yeah, because at nighttime of course it's dangerous too, but I can I can be in a cave at daytime or at nighttime and it's just as dangerous either way. Huh. That's kind of funny. I didn't know they just spawned in in big clumps right in front of you. <laughs> that was not something that I was expecting. Oh, my axe broke. Okay. I'm going to go check out. Is there like a cave over here or what? Yeah, it looks like it. Huh. Okay, so I think I saw some coal down here. I do want to get some more iron though, so that I can um have a uh you know some iron tools and a bucket and iron armor, all that stuff. I believe in this version as well, instead of um, leather armor, uh, you did like, you like used wool to make armor instead of leather. Um, because they did not yet have cows. And also in this version, um, to get like wool from a sheep. They didn't have shears yet. So you just had to like punch it and it would drop wool. And it was gray wool in this version. That's right. Yeah, it was light. So for this version, and I think like 
only this version? The sheep drop light gray wool. Uh, but you can craft white wool with like string. And then between this and the next version that's in the launcher, um, they took out all of the wool except for white wool. So then the sheep started to drop white wool again. And then I believe it was beta, was it 1.2 when they added dyes? And then they added back in the other sheep colors, the other wool colors, and you could like dye sheep and get the other colors of wool. But you couldn't get uh, brown wool, I believe, until beta 1.4. Because they didn't have like a way to get cocoa beans until they put them into um what's it called? Abandoned mine shafts. I believe that's correct. I hope that's correct. Otherwise I am spreading misinformation. Well not spreading, I I guess to spread misinformation you have to have like received the misinformation yourself, but I'm just like inventing misinformation and then saying it, which is a different thing. Okay. I don't think they had beds until, like, a lot later. Oh, this is the special chest. I shouldn't just put stuff in it. <laughs> okay. Well, you know what? That, yeah, that was a, a, a complete um, adventure. So maybe I will update the list now. So we got oak wood, which I or logs, rather, which I believe were just called logs back then. I guess they weren't really called anything in this version. There were no tooltips, but once they added them in, I think I think they added in tooltips before they added in birch and spruce. I, I honestly have no idea. I shouldn't uh, say that when I'm not sure. Okay, so oak logs we got. We got some light gray wool. Light gray wool and sand. Where is sand? There it is. The sheet should be updated now. Okay. Um actually I would like to make some glass. Have some little windows in here. I'll have to get some more sand though. Okay. Nine sands, so that should be enough to smelt 16 of it and still have um, one in the chest. Um, and I did not make a furnace yet. Oh yeah, they used to have the, the stone texture on top. They kept that for a while, didn't they? me one So, getting some sand here, turning into glass. I'm gonna put, let's see. It might actually be nice to um, use some logs as part of building this. Never really been 
very good at um building things in this game, but we do have a good number of logs, so and I need more stone. I guess there's no reason not to just get stone from, like, the wall. Oh, there's a cave, though, so. Okay. So I'm going to try to make the house look um, a little bit nicer before I get into anything else. Oops. So my plan is like, um, I usually whenever I build, I don't really build outdoor houses very much, honestly. I usually build into like the side of a mountain or something, but um, just feels like it's what you're supposed to do though, to build a house. So I think I want to make like logs on the corners and maybe in this middle of the walls and then have like, oh, they didn't have horizontal logs until 1.3, did they? Okay, well, there goes that idea. I was going to say put horizontal logs, like, along here as, like, braces, but, yeah, that's not going to work. But probably will put them on the corners. I feel like that would look nicer for some reason. Okay, our glass is done. could not shift click in this version. I'm not sure when they added that. It was a while after this version though. I think I could be completely wrong about that. Hmm. Okay, that looks good. Some over here too. Maybe back here. That doesn't look too bad. Starting to get dark out again. Oh, and my torches fell outside, didn't they? No? Where did my torches go? If you broke a block with the torch on it, did you not get a torch back? Oh, I placed it. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, this is starting to look kind of cozy. So I'm going to try and do a, like, pyramid shape on top of here. Oops. I'm not the best at not falling. Oh, I guess I should leave this one up too, shouldn't I? I'm gonna try not to die. That doesn't look bad. Okay, so let's update the list again here. So 
So keep sticks now. Stick. Oops. We have wooden planks. Just gonna put one in there. We've got glass. And that's all the new stuff that's in the chest anyway. Cool. So let's make sure that updated. Yep, awesome. So I think the goal for the next daylight cycle is going to be um, set up a farm, like a like a wheat farm. So. I think for tonight, I am going to try and get some more iron. Okay. Should probably bring some torches with me. I might need another uh, stone pick as well. So um, there's probably like ways you could like route this out to do it like really quickly, but I'm not super interested in doing it quickly at this point in time. I just kind of want to go through it and like have fun in the process. Should I make a stone sword or wait until I get iron? I think I'm probably going to wait until you get iron. Hopefully I don't run into anything too crazy out here. Is that a creeper? That's two creepers. And I just took more fall damage. I have to remember that you don't uh, regenerate health in this version. Like, without eating. I need to be more careful about the sorts of falls that I'm taking. Here's some more iron though. That's nice. Okay. See what else we can get down here. More iron. Very good. Yeah, I think um in the future too, once I get to um, versions that have multiplayer, um, I've talked to some of my friends and some of them, you know, have said that they think this is a pretty interesting idea. Um, and that they might, you know, want to do this like on like a multiplayer server. So that would be cool. It would definitely be like whitelisted. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I think in the future, this might become like a multi-person having a conversation while we do it type of a thing, instead of just me kind of talking to myself. Uh, hopefully that would make the, the viewing experience more interesting as well. Multiple skeletons over there. Skeletons uh, used to do a lot of damage, if I remember correctly. Like, I I remember... I mean, I don't know, like... I mean, this is way further back than I ever played the game. Um, so maybe that's not the case, like, this far back. But I, I remember, like, running away from skeletons when I would see them, like, early on. But I was also, like... Kind of scared of everything early on when I played this. Hmm. 
Okay, so getting some iron now, which is pretty epic. That's enough to make a sword. And then the next three, probably going to do, um, there's a creeper outside my window. <laughs> the next three, I'm probably going to do, um, iron bucket for that farm. And then, um, iron pickaxe after that. And then maybe we'll do some more caving that next night. I called it an iron bucket, but there's only one kind of bucket in the game. And I think it's just called a bucket. Hmm. Yeah, so eventually I do want to build like a nicer building for um like a like a like a museum type thing. We um we talked on a a server I had with some friends of mine once before about building like a museum and putting all the items in it. That was kind of like where this idea started. Um, but that was before the like breaking it up into different versions thing. We were just gonna like go at it like all at once, um, which would have been a lot of blocks and items. Um, but anyway, yeah, so I wanted to build like a, like a museum type thing and like um, maybe like have different like wings of it with like that are built with like the new stuff from the new versions so like the stuff from early on will be like um like stone and like wood and stuff and then in alpha once they add like clay um we'll have like a brick section and then um like once we get to 1.7 maybe there will be like a like an acacia wood like stuff like that I think that might be kind of cool. And so you can see the like evolution of the of the the game as the like museum was being built. I need to build a hoe. Build is not the word for that. Craft. That creeper is still out there. I I kind of so like I I talked before about how like there's no sound in this version anymore. Um, means you can't hear mobs. Did they drop gunpowder in this version? I don't know. Um, okay, so I need to start tilling the grass. Okay, cool. So it does give you seeds. And that's all going to disappear. Okay. So nice little farm that'll give us a food supply in the form of bread and um, new items in the form of wheat seeds and wheat and bread. Okay. Oops, did not mean to tell that one. Oh, you could like jump on it in this version, but until it couldn't you? No, you couldn't. Okay. <laughs> that has changed a couple times over the years, hasn't it?
Um, I don't think they had fences yet in this version. But they did have slabs, so maybe I'll just put like slabs around it, just to make it look a little nicer. Yeah, no fence. No slabs either, huh. Make a spoon, okay, that's a good idea. Thank you. And you couldn't, you couldn't like, yeah, so if I'm over here, I can open the door, but if I'm over here, I can't, which I guess is because it would open like into me. Oh, but now it works. Oh, maybe it's just because I'm too close to the thing that I'm clicking on. I don't, I don't know how this game works. Okay. Um, Spoon is, was a good idea, though, yeah. That makes this a lot quicker. Um, so there's no slabs, huh? I wonder what I will put around this, then. I guess I could just put full blocks. For now and then I'll replace it with like fences later. Hmm. Glass. Glass panes. That might work. Let's check. There's no stairs either, which is kind of kind of strange. Okay, that's my stair. Nope, no glass panes. I'll just put uh, these wood blocks around it. Uh oh. I want to replace these little blocks here with wood. I think it would look nicer. Did I miss one? Yes. Is that gonna work? Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Never mind. It's very important that this looks good. That's otherwise the whole thing will be impossible. Um. Okay. Yeah, that that looks okay. If we go inside, we can see it out our window. Well, it'll look nicer when there's more wheat in there, but... Okay, I'm going to update the uh, the spreadsheet now. So we've got stone pick. 
which is somewhere in here. There it is. Oh, you know what? I'm looking at the the spreadsheet, and um, they did have stone slabs. They didn't have wood slabs, but they did have stone slabs. So that's um, a possibility. Yeah, I'm going to go get some more stone. <laughs> These were the old uh, stone slabs. Right, where like, I think, oh, I don't know if you used cobblestone or stone stone back then. Maybe they had cobblestone slabs too. I don't know. I'm gonna get some more coal along down here. Oh, the thing is gone. There it is. Um, yeah, I do not see cobblestone slab in the list. I think they had stone bricks in this version. I might build the the museum out of, or at least the first part of the museum out of uh, stone bricks, if that's a thing yet. I always liked stone bricks. When I, um, I, I kind of stopped playing Minecraft between like 1.3 and like 1.7 until um, a friend of mine like played it a lot. And so we started playing together in like 1.7. And at that point in time, oh, that's interesting. Okay, so it just gives you stone slabs out of cobblestone. Um, but anyway, at that once I started like playing again in one point seven, I would build like everything out of stone bricks. It was my favorite block in the game. It's not bad. And then I guess I'll replace this with stone bricks too. Just for now. I did not get enough stone though. So maybe I won't do that. There are now sheep over there. Those were not there before. Um, when did they add beds? That would be nice to have. Hmm. Okay, I think, uh, next time it's light out, I'm gonna start on the, uh, the building. Although, let me check if they have stoneworks first. Ooh, no, we're not going to have stone bricks until beta 1.8. Oh, I guess they added them because they used them in the strongholds. That's probably it. So what will I build it out of then? I don't want to just do, like, more wood, you know? Maybe stone? Like, smooth stone? No, no bed in this version. Bed was, um, I think it was beta something. Let me check. Yeah, beta 1.3. So it's going to be a while. <laughs> um, but that means we can do like mining at night still. So just go into the mine all night and then come back and do above ground stuff. Hoping that wheat uh, grows quickly because I'm starting to run out of health.
I need a new cave also. I want to look for some nicer ores, maybe um, some diamonds. Or just more iron, honestly, so I can get armor. Oh, wait. I can get leather armor from um, the sheep. Yeah, sheep drop wool and you make leather armor with wool. Um, because there's no leather yet. Oh, I do want to get some mushrooms. Mm, that's too far of a drop, isn't it? Usually I just like don't even think about fall damage un unless it's like more than like 10 blocks, but um, not regenerating health automatically like makes you have to think about it. Although I do like like not having to eat unless it's like my fault <laughs> like if you fall a long distance or like um mess up like an encounter with a hostile mob like then you like have to eat to like regain your health but it's kind of like in modern minecraft there's that like you have to eat to like regain your hunger to regain your health but also you just have like starving where you just like need to eat because you like walked too much um so it's kind of nicer in my opinion in this version that like you only really need food if you're like like getting hurt like the amount of food that you need to eat is like directly tied to like how often you get hurt um so you don't have to carry around like a bunch of food if you're like good, which I'm not, but I imagine some people are. Oh, there's more cave over here. Interesting. And that's it. Oh, this is kind of weird. It's interesting how the um the world generation like is so like distinctive. Like you can you can like look at in like beta for example, they had like some funky terrain that you could look at it and just be like, this is a screenshot from beta, and I know that because of that mountain. Um, well, I don't want to get lost, so I should go back. Hopefully I don't run into too many uh, scary creatures on the way. It'll be interesting too, I wonder like, I'm not sure which versions uh, let you like upgrade the world and which ones don't, um, but it'll be interesting to like see like infdev terrain generation with like the modern like textures and like lighting and stuff. I don't know if I've ever seen like old generation with like modern rendering. There it is. Oh, 
there are spiders over there now. <laughs> that is a lot of spiders. Hmm. Let me go around them, I think. And there's a skeleton. Oh no. Hello, friend. Yeah, they, they, that happened earlier with them, a bunch of pigs. They just like spawn in in like a clump all in the same place and then just like fall to the ground. I might be about to die. Yep. <laughs> okay. Did the game just crash again? I think it did. Yes, it did. Oh, I hope it uh, saves the game, like, on its own. That would kind of suck if it didn't. It just crashed again. The older version, uh, this one anyway, is a little finicky. Okay. Please don't crash. We seem to be good. Um, but yeah, they just like spawn in like right in front of you in like a clump of like five or six. And they spawn like a block above the ground. <laughs> um, it's a little strange. Um, I don't know where I am. Okay, I know I was on the beach. Huh. Maybe that way. You can't sprint in this version, which makes like parkouring a little more difficult. I see some light over there, so I'm gonna go toward it. Hmm. Yeah, I uh maybe the the safer thing to do there would have been to like hunker down in the cave until daytime. When I killed that spider, it didn't drop any string. I thought spiders drop string. Oh yeah, this was that first cave. Okay, I'm going the right way. If spiders don't drop string yet, then I might have to change uh, the spreadsheet. Take out um, strings, bows, and white wool. But I feel like they drop string in this version. I don't think I've seen any mob drop anything, actually, but I haven't killed... I've only killed, like, one creeper and one spider. Okay, so it is saving. My, my torches are here. That is good. I was a little scared. Are the spiders still here? No? Wait, my items are gone. No, they aren't. Never mind. <laughs> you just have to, like, be close to them to see them. Okay. That could have been worse. I could have been, like, completely lost. Um, how much iron did I get? Oh, there's more iron down there, too. How long has that been there? The sheep are gone, too. I was gonna... Oh, maybe stuff despawns when you get too far from it. That's 
probably what it is. I think it, they do that in modern Minecraft too, but the distance in this version is probably less than in modern Minecraft. Hmm. Anyway. Okay, well, that was a semi-successful venture. I'm gonna update the uh, the list again. So we have dandelions. We have brown mushroom. We have gravel. Where is gravel? Oh, R is after O. Okay. Um, probably not going to use this bucket for a while, so I'll put it in here. Bucket. And then stone slabs. Stone slab. Smooth stone slab. Okay. That should update. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, bucket is gone. So that is updating. Very good. Okay. So what did I say I was going to do next? I wanted to start building the, the building. We don't have stone bricks, but maybe smooth stone would look okay. I kind of don't want to use oak planks because I already used it for the house. Um, and we don't have a lot of other blocks available to us yet. Do we have sandstone? Oh, wait, was it, maybe it was nine blocks? I think there was something that used to take nine and now it takes four, or maybe it was the other way around. Could have been sandstone. Oh, there's sheep over there now. Okay. We do not have sandstone yet. More sheep over there. It, it always feels kind of bad to like punch them, but like there there aren't shears yet. <laughs> there is, I think shears were beta one point seven, so we're we're gonna be punching sheep for a while. Do they take damage from this? Like they turn red, but. Maybe, maybe there's only so many times you can get wool from a sheep. Oh, I wanted wool for the leather armor. Okay. I remembered that I wanted wool before, but I couldn't remember why. But leather armor. Need um 24, I think, for a full set. Does the audio sound good? I kind of, I did like a, like a test earlier and it seemed like it was good, but I, I wasn't sure if it was going to stay good. Okay. I think, uh, as the, uh, as we get into the newer versions, uh, you know, the game becomes more, like, complex, and so I wonder if the performance will, like, degrade over time. It feels really weird making leather armor, like, 
gray wool, but okay. So now I can run headfirst into as many spiders as I want and have no problems. Um, okay, what blocks do we have? Let me. I'm gonna take a look at the spreadsheet. Um, okay, definitely not going to use a block of diamond. Cobblestone, maybe? Cobblestone looks a little ugly. Um, but, I mean, you do see in, like, screenshots from, from back in, like, alpha and stuff, people are building stuff out of cobblestone all the time. So we have cobblestone. We have... Logs, planks, obsidian. Obsidian could be cool, but then I'd have to like get obsidian. Um, sand, smooth stone slabs, stone, white wool, and light gray wool. That's kind of it. Logs might look good. Um, yeah, well, one thing is you can't put them, like, on their side until, I think, 1.3. Um, so they would have to be, like, vertical. But, yeah, it still might look cool. I have to get a lot of logs, though. Yeah. Maybe, like, a mixture of logs and cobblestone could be cool. Like, like a cobblestone except there's like a, a a log column every like three blocks or something yeah i might try that okay so that means i need more logs and more cobblestone i need to decide where to put it as well I think, um, I don't know, I want it to be kind of near the house, just because, like, there's no sprinting. <laughs> Although there are mine carts and rails by this point in time. I did see them in the spreadsheet. Um, there were no powered rails, but I think they, you used to be able to, like, if you had two minecart rails next to each other and a mine like a moving minecart hit like a stationary minecart, it would like make it like move quickly. Um I I, I mean I started playing like after that era, so I, I kinda don't know how that works, but I might look into that if um I find somewhere that's kind of far away that looks like it would be a cool place. I'm going to uh, stop after this tree and then get some cobblestone and then make like a little like like pallet, like test pallet of that cobblestone and log idea. I, I want it to look very like grand, like important. I guess it is, like, the most important thing in this world. <laughs> so it should look important. I wonder what version they added in multiplayer. I hope it's soon. So I'm going to go down to this beach. And what if we do like...
something like this. Hmm. Yeah, this doesn't look very bad. I like that. There's still the question of where to put it, though. Um, dead or not until beta 1.3. <laughs> it's kind of, I mean, it's like I want to keep working on above ground stuff and like look for a place, but, um, you know, it's going to be nice when we have deads because then you can like, you don't have to like go back and forth between mining and doing stuff above ground. You can just like do whichever one you want to do. Like, you can mine whether it's daytime or not. And if you want to do, like, house stuff and it's not daytime, then, like, you can just sleep. You know how beds work. I don't need to explain that. Um, but it'll, it'll, be, it'll be cool to have beds is my point. Okay, I need more torches. I think I want more torches than that. I don't know how long I'm gonna do this for today. Probably just like until I get bored or until um, I get like a diamond. <laughs> I'm gonna make a second chest. So this chest is the special chest where once we put something in it, we can't take it out. Or we can't take like all of it out. Um and when we add stuff to it, we have to like add it to the spreadsheet. But then this other chest is just gonna be like a chest. And then once we build the thing, um, the building, the building will have special chests and all the chests in here will be normal chests. That's the plan. Okay, so time to go mining. I don't think I need to bring a pickaxe or an axe I mean with me, do I? Um, I still don't have any food. Not quite ready. So I should go ahead and, um, get some more of this started. Okay. So where to mine? I'm just gonna go in a straight line until I see a cave. And I'm gonna place some torches along the way so that I don't get lost. <laughs> I would like to build, like, if I have, like, a, a big cave system that I'm, like, going back and forth to all the time, I want to build, like, like a like a path to it, like a road. Maybe like two two blocks wide of cobblestone with like smooth stone slabs on either side. Would be good. What is this? Is that just stone? Hmm. There is a cave under there. Oh, is there? No, there's not. Okay. Very small cave.
I do, if I run into any, uh, hostile mobs, and it's not, like, <laughs> a bunch of them, like those spiders, um, I, I'm pretty sure mobs dropped items when you killed them in this version. Uh, if they don't, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to modify the spreadsheet, like I said before. But I guess we'll do some tests if we run into any. Is that a cave? Nope. Oh, that's a cave, though. Nice. I heard a tip somewhere once. To avoid getting lost in a cave system, um, you should place torches on, like, the right wall. And so then, when it's time to leave the cave, you just, like, keep the torches on your left. I'm gonna try and follow that and see if it works. This is a complex intersection. I'm going to try it this way first. There's some iron, which I can't reach. I'm hoping I um run into some like caves that go pretty deep because I'm I'm not really into strip mining. It's not particularly fun to me. I know some people like it, but I don't. And it's probably not super fun to watch anyway. Oh, my pick rope. I guess that means it's time to go back. Yeah, I wonder, I'm, I have OBS set to like 30 FPS. Um, but it seems like, I mean, I'm not getting any like performance issues right now, which might just be because this is like such an old version, but, um, I'm not getting any performance issues at all, so I might try and up that to 60 FPS for the next time. Okay. The moon is starting to go down. Something I read that was a bit interesting. Before beta, um, the sun... Okay, so in, like, beta 1.0, they, like, changed where the sun rose from. Um, so, like, canonically, and by canonically, I mean, like, according to, like, Jeb and, like, whoever else, um, the sun used to rise in, like, the north before beta 1.0. But, like, people would make, like, maps of worlds, and they would put, like, east in the direction that the sun rose, because the sun rises in the east. But then, um, in beta 1.0, they, like, changed it so that the sun rose in, like, a different direction. And then, I guess, the developers were, like, it used to rise in the north, but now it rises in the east, and we, everybody's just been calling northeast. Um, I, I mean, I, I was not playing at that time, so I don't know the, like, the full, like lore behind that but i'm probably just gonna like <laughs> also call that direction east and then just like change what i'm calling things when beta 1.0 comes out because i don't want to like think about like 
this is north and then figure everything else out off of that. Just seems like it would be annoying. Yeah, I, I like how that wall looks. Oh, I wonder if my farm has made any progress. Nope. Hmm. Okay, well, let's update the thing again. I'm going to add this wheat. So we can... Draw some wheat off the list. What is next? Arrow. Okay. I yeah, eventually I wanna I've just kind of like been playing the game. <laughs> uh but I mean there is there is like a goal here. So maybe I should start like well no, I need I need to build the uh the building before I do any of that. Okay. Build the building first and then start worrying about like getting specific blocks. The red flowers. Um, yes, you're right. And maybe I'll start like. I think once that chest is full, I'm gonna just like go hard on um, actually building the museum because <laughs> uh, I don't want to have like multiple chests of like stuff that I'm gonna have to move to the museum. But yes, red flowers. I will have that. I get dirt already. I think, yeah, I definitely got dirt. And I got the yellow flowers already. Okay. I think these were called roses. And then later we're reading to poppies. Yeah. I remember when they, when they renamed them to poppies, um, I was kind of like, uh, still calling them roses, <laughs> but now I've like started to call them poppies, and I almost called this a poppy, even though like it's still a rose at this point in time. Okay, so where is the building going to go? I feel like on top of the mountain could be a cool place. See if the top of this one is flat. Although as it expands, I'm gonna like start to run out of room on top of the mountain. Uh, so maybe a nice flat area, a big flat area would be better. I'm not sure yet. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is not a big area. Oh, that's a nice big flat area, though. Hmm. It's not too far. You can see a lot from up here. Okay. I didn't bring anything with me. I'm gonna go get some blocks. So it's basically just go toward the pond and then keep going. I wonder when they added sprinting. That would be nice to have. 
Oh, it was probably when they added uh, hunger. I bet. Because, like, why else would you add hunger? It's coming along nicely. Um, oh, I do want to make some more of these uh, stone slabs to put around the farm. Oh, you can <laughs> you can click and drag. Because real people get hungry. That's why you. Well, it's it's like okay. I mean, yeah, I guess. Um. That is true, but I, I I still feel like the game would be more fun if there weren't hunger. I don't know, maybe I'm just like bad at farming. <laughs> Some of these are like turning back into dirt on their own. Or not. Is that just like a thing that happened, I wonder? They would just randomly turn back into dirt. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, if not, well, this one was planted on, though. Maybe I jumped on that one and didn't realize it. I think this looks better than the than the than the full planks. So I am once again out of cobblestone. <laughs> oh, I think my iron's done. Yep. I'm not going in there yet. I need sticks. Cobblestone time. I'm thinking um, to start off, that building is probably just going to be like a big square. Um, with maybe, maybe I'll place the blocks and put the items in chests for now until we get item frames. But then I have to figure out like a nice, um, way to present the, uh, the blocks. Like I, when I tried to make that museum, uh, on that server once before, I just like put like some stairs around a block and then put a block on top of it. Oh, we don't have stairs yet, though. We have cobblestone stairs? We don't have wooden stairs, but maybe we do have cobblestone stairs. No, no cobblestone stairs. That's probably enough cobblestone for now. Oh, and I can take this down as well. I like the old cobblestone texture. Like it, it, it obviously it doesn't fit with like the newer textures. Um, but like with, like in the context of the older game, the old 
Probably some texture looks cool. Um, I don't have an axe anymore. Oh, it's getting dark out again. Armor. Yes, it's in this chest. You know, I like don't use leather armor ever in the modern game. I just realized that this is like. One of the first times I've ever, like, made leather armor. But it's just, like... I don't know. I don't have iron yet. <laughs> and, um... Wool is easier to get than leather. Because it sucks. Yeah, um... Kind of does. <laughs> I think, I don't know if it's this version, it might have, they might have changed it before this version, but at one point in time, like, I, if I remember right, if I understood the thing I was reading correctly, they all, like, gave the same amount of protection, but they just had, like, different durabilities, which is kind of strange. Still no bed. I'm gonna go out and look for some mobs to kill and see if they drop things. And then in, in the daytime, I'll get to building the building. No mobs yet. It's a little scary when, like, that big, like, bump of spiders spawns and then you, like, can't sprint in this version, so they're, like, faster than you. Like, you have to, like, be ready. Hopefully I don't get lost. That would be kind of funny if I got lost. It's that way. I want to see how much I can see from the top of that mountain. I just tried to sprint <laughs> and it didn't work. It's really strange to me, like, the stuff I would think had been in the game for longer is, like, newer than I realized. Like, you couldn't get apples until beta 1.8. Um, there were no shears until beta 1.7, which meant no, like, picking up leaves. Um, you know, it's just later than I thought. When the sideways logs first came out, in 1.3, I was like, this is, like, amazing. And now, like, I'm thinking about stuff I want to build, and I'm like, oh, yeah, I'll put, like, some sideways logs across there. But, like, I'm just, like, so used to it now. There is not a single mob. Is the day-night cycle quicker than it is now? I like the old um, stars. They look cool. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Now I don't know where anything is. Okay, there's light over there. That would not be safe. That would not be safe either.
I think I'm going the right way. Um, am I going the right way? Yes. Why are there no monsters anywhere? Oh, there's one. It's a skeleton. Do I want to risk it? Oh, they didn't have bows. They just, like, threw the arrows at you. It didn't drop anything. Hmm. I might have to do some research on how to get things. Because, <laughs> like, they had bows, right? But, like, you need string to get a bow. And you need um, to kill a spider to get string. Because they didn't have, like, mine shafts yet. Or, like, dungeons or anything like that. Maybe you just couldn't get those. Which I guess means you can't get arrows either, because you need, like, to either kill a skeleton or, like, craft it. And to craft it, you need, um, you need feathers. Do they have chickens yet? You used to get feathers from, um, zombies. I think. But if they don't drop anything, I guess you just can't get feathers. Huh. Hmm. Well, that will cut down on the number of things that we have to get in this version. If that is true. I'm going to go back to the house and then check <laughs> online on the Minecraft wiki. If I go to like the wiki page on zombie, oh, you can't see this. Hold on. Okay. So we are learning about zombies currently. If I go into history, is it going to like. No, in dev, zombies now drop feathers. Yeah, this was this was February. This is before the version that we're in. And then now they drop rotten flesh after the version that we're in. So they are supposed to drop things. Maybe all the drops are rare. Zero to two feathers. I've killed a couple zombies. Hmm. Like a mob page. I 
move from Oxford. Yeah, there's nothing that's like made them drop things again. Huh. Okay, so I guess they do drop things and I just have to like keep trying. Oh, leather armor does suck. Wow. It's, it's kind of not got a lot of durability. <laughs> huh. So it's time to start building the thing. Oh, you couldn't stack doors. Forgot about that. Maybe the floor of the place should be um these things. Might look cool. Oh, I need to leave one of these blocks in here. Okay. That was close. Are there planks in here still? Yes. So I'm just going to go until I get to that flat area. I think it was just keep going that way. there is kind of a flat area right next to the house but i don't want to have to like chop down all those trees because that just seems annoying this area is pretty flat and doesn't have any trees in it well not many trees anyway if i kill one of these pigs is it going to drop something i think they had pork chops back then oh cool okay the pork chops exist. So why aren't the monsters dropping anything? Huh. They probably are, and I'm just like getting unlucky. <laughs> Like, or as in, they probably do drop things, and I just, the reason that they aren't for me is I'm just, like, getting a bad RNG every time. Oh, that's going to be a problem if I keep taking fall damage. You can fall three blocks without fall damage. Yes. But now I have to get down. Okay. Yeah, I like how this wall looks.
Maybe I'll put some like torches on the the logs. I don't have any with me though. Oh no. My shovel. I want to see how those stone slabs look. That's weird. <laughs> huh. Okay. I just have to do double slabs. It's going to be a little bit more expensive. But it's not like cobblestone is hard to get. Did you only get one slab back? No. That's messed up. Hmm. I don't know whether I like that. Maybe wool? Like a carpet? Or maybe just planks? Hmm. Smooth stone, cobblestone. I don't know. I, maybe I'll just keep it as grass for now and then decide later. I want to put some windows in here. When did they add stained glass? Was that like... That was like 1.10 at least, I think. It's not for a while. They do look good, don't they? Hmm. Hey, let me make some more and see what... They look like when I have like a few rows of them. It's weird how they like change texture when you put the second one on they get like a little darker Hmm. Yeah, they do look good. Okay, yeah, I think I'm going to do that then as the floor. And then ceiling. I think like um, 
like the you know how the ceiling of like a church is like like an arch shape i feel like that would be a cool shape but i don't know if i can like do that accurately I'm thinking about windows. I think I'm going to have like double chest along each of the double cobblestone things. And then like a three high, there's no sneaking, a three high window um, on top of that. And then like another cobblestone layer. Maybe that's too many windows. Maybe just every other one. Maybe every other one, but like the other, every other one. Yeah, I think that's good. Yeah, I like this design. And these floors are good too. Okay, time to go back. I want to get some more food though too. It's too bad that you can't stack uh, food. <laughs> Although I guess it is food is kind of OP. It, it, or it, food would be OP if you could stack it um, with like the instant healing and stuff. Like if you were like running from like a pack of monsters you could just like spam eat food and then you would be fine i want to make this nicer too maybe fill this in with water It's cool. Okay. Since you can't stack the food, I'm a little worried about like I'm gonna lose some like efficiency when I like have to take one out and then put one in, but it doesn't really matter. Does this heal? Oh, that does at least four hearts. Awesome. Yeah, 
Yeah, so if you could like carry like a stack of that with you at a time, that would that would be very OP. Might as well put one in here. Cooked pork chop. Oh, I should have kept a raw one to put in there. Oh well. Cooked pork chop. Cross that off. Did it not update? There it goes. Make a crafting table too while I'm here. I wonder when they added charcoal. I was surprised that there's no charcoal. I need a new pickaxe and then I think um, paving. Bring some torches. Okay. Can go caving. Hopefully, I'll find some iron, um, and then I can make some iron armor. Maybe even some gold, some diamonds, some redstone. Oh no, they didn't have redstone until um, alpha, did they? Anyway, diamonds and gold. I almost, it feels like I always either have a ton of coal or not a lot of coal. <laughs> And I always want to like skip mining coal just because like it's always big chunks and it takes a while. But then I, if I do skip mining it, then I don't have any coal, right? That's not very insightful, is it? I don't know. I wish uh, coal were faster to mine. Iron, nice. I wonder, so I think 1.21 is supposed to have like, like, you can use like hoppers on crafting tables or something. Like you can like make farms that like automatically craft stuff. Um, which is kind of wacky. But also cool, like I, there's a lot of possibilities there. Eventually, uh, we'll get to, um, now. I, one uh, thing that made this a little challenging, just making like the spreadsheet, was um, there's a lot of blocks that they added to the game, like before they had a crafting recipe, or not not before they had a crafting recipe, but before they had like a way to get them. 
So like I said, the apples before, but also like in like caves and cliffs when they split that one in two and they did like some of it in 117 and some of it in 118, um, they added like dripstone and like azalea and stuff in 117, but they didn't change the world generation so that you could actually find it until 118. And so I like misentered a bunch of information into the spreadsheet because I thought you could get them in 117 and then I had to like go back through and fix it. This is a good drop. Does it go anywhere? No. <laughs> Not have a lot of blocks. All right, I think um, after I get back to the house, I'm gonna end the stream, do a little bit more caving, and then go back to the house. But we we, we made you know a little bit of progress, but it's been a couple hours, so. I'm gonna um, think more about the design for that building as well. Like I, I like the design that we have right now, um, but as far as like the 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 ceiling and roof of it, I'm kind of unsure of what to do. I think. Ooh, I am lost. I feel like I want to go that way, but that can't... oh no, it's that way. Okay, we're right next to the house. <laughs> oh, nice. Some of our crops have grown. I keep one seed to put in the chest. Okay, so already had gravel, already had torches, already had coal, cobblestone, all this stuff. Um, okay, but the seeds are new. Wheat seeds. Bread? Bread, yeah, I can make bread, you're right. Thank you. Okay. Throw those up here. Awesome. Mm. Can't make a chest right now. Probably make some other stuff, but anyway, I think uh, I'm gonna put rest of this stuff in here and then that's going to be it for this time i could make an iron block but i want to save that iron um but yeah i think um it's so weird how they just spawn in those big clumps like that um i think we've made you know some good progress here um we started out with uh how many items did we start out with i think it was like 90 something that we needed and now we're down to like 72 so not bad at all. Um, the block of diamond is probably going to be the hardest one. But we'll we'll get there eventually. Um, and yeah, I think that uh, building is going to look nice. I do wonder. So, OK, so apparently. Like it looked like. Uh, it looked like the. Um, 
the mobs do drop like drops um and we, we tested that on the cows and it worked but it didn't work on any of the monsters so i i i'm thinking i've probably just been unlucky and it will work um i'm hoping that's the case because if not then i will have to change some of the spreadsheet and it also means that the if it doesn't if they don't have drops that also means that the minecraft wiki is possibly wrong which means everything else in the spreadsheet might be wrong so I'm really hoping that that's not the case. Um, but we'll see what happens. Anyway, yeah, I don't uh, think I'm going to have any kind of schedule for this. I'm just going to do it like whenever I feel like it. But that's it for this time. So thank you for watching.